This is the Gillows Kit 2005. It's the B29 Superfort RC conversion. Uh, the graphics are from Cali. And I did it in the dynamite configuration. Painted the stripes. And uh, she got them scale. They look good. Um, very happy with it. I uh, did the maiden of this model a few weeks ago. And uh, it wasn't all snowy at that time. We had a break in the weather. Um, some details on this model. Get my list. The motors are A1510. They're 2200 uh, kV motors. The props are 5045s. 10 amp hobby wing ESCs. Uh, it's a lemon 6 channel with satellite for the receiver. Ailerons are Emax 4.3 gram servos. Um, there are Tower Pro 9 gram servos for the elevator and rudder. Uh, this flies on a 1500 milliamp 3 cell 40C battery. And the bomb release servo is a 3.7 gram servo. This thing makes 247 watts of power at 25.6 amps. Uh, the all-up weight, 32.5 ounces. So a bit porky, but I think it flies nice. And for having the retracts and the oleo struts, um, I think it was a, a nice trade-off. Here's the struts. They're uh, just right in the nose. Um, they work nicely. Let's see if we can move to um, putting a battery in this thing and powering it up. The uh, front section is just held on with magnets. And we'll just set the battery in here for demonstration purposes. Um, we've got elevator, rudder, and steering, and ailerons, and uh, the second set of bomb bays is actually an access cover, and I don't know how this is going to work out with just me running the camera, but I'm going to try and show you. Big span on this model. Um, this is the access cover. Uh, the receiver, servos, steering, everything's accessible. So, you know, if there's ever any issues, things can be replaced, taken apart, serviced. Uh, retracts. Boy, how am I going to do this? I will try to get this down on the camera angle, I guess. Hey, what do you know? And gear up. And gear down. Um, the nose gear is pretty trick. That worked out really neat. It turns on the way up and stows itself nicely. Also got the bomb doors. That yeah, one's hanging up a little bit, but there we go. You get some uh, your payload in there, and it opens them up all the way nicely. Those are hinged off a very very small spring that uh, that I found in cassette deck doors. So like an old car stereo cassette deck, there's a really light spring on that door, and that's what I use. For my bomb doors to open them. It doesn't take much. 
and, uh, and those are just held by a couple of pieces of thread uh, and they're kind of tied onto the servo so uh, quite a capacity in there um, nearly the size of a pack of cigarettes so I don't know all kinds of stuff can be hauled with it I use the super snaps they make a heck of a wham when they go off let's see we'll power this thing up get a view of that It's, this thing has got power like crazy. That's uh, what, like a 1.16 watts per pound. Um, or 116 watts per pound, excuse me. That's It's nearly a 3D power ratio in this thing. Um, you know, you can get off the throttle. You know, I, I, flew, I flew it once. This is usually the what, what I like to do, is get a video of the model before anything bad happens to it. And, you know, flight has been proven. It really flies nice. Um, you can get off the throttle and it will slow down. Uh, it doesn't have to be flying at 700 miles an hour in scale speed. Um, but the feeling I got from flying it, I bet you this thing would loop and roll and do anything you want it to, but it's really not what I made it for. I just love the, the scale. Um, Scale flight, and just to see the B-29 silhouette in the sky. Um, another look at the uh, um, my nose section here. I managed to paint the cowl by hand and added my machine guns. Um, let me see if I can pop that back on here real quick. And we'll pull the battery out. Yeah, it was a tough decision on, you know, Enola Gay or Fifi or what, you know, Doc is is an awesome uh, B-29. But this kind of caught my attention, you know, it, it uh, this dynamite landed on Iwo Jima when they were fighting for the island. And it was damaged and uh, uh, it, it was crippled, it had to come in. And it came in from the Japanese side and landed in the American side. And it was a heck of a morale booster for the, uh, uh, for the Americans. Um, I really don't know the whole story on dynamite. You know, it, it don't, I don't think the plane made the whole war. I think it was junked. I think it got really shot up again and they just uh, abandoned it. But... Uh, I didn't plan on this build, really. Um, lucky enough to score on this model on eBay. Uh, it was 125 bucks. buy it now. And it was on a 30-day auction thing. And I think it made it 23 minutes, and I had it bought and paid for. Just one of those lucky days. I just put in B29 uh, kilos, and there it was. So that's how I got lucky with it. The wood, I got a comment, uh, the wood sucked in this kit. It was all over the place from barely usable to oak-like. Uh, the die crushing was poor as well. And maybe the, the build might reflect it. It was, uh, a lot of it didn't sand out really well. Uh, I struggled with a lot of it. But it's a it's a strong build, and that's you know usually why I use the kit wood. It's it's very strong stuff, and that's my main goal is to build a, a durable model that'll take hard landings and uh, whatever I can throw at it. Really, um, I guess looking in hindsight, I I probably should have cut some of the parts um, and replaced them with some good balsa. But really, it for I'm very happy with it for for what it is. Uh, it it suits my purposes um, very well. Silver, excuse me, is a real bitch. I man, everything shows up in silver. 
you've got to get them so straight and so perfect to have them smooth without uh, you know showing any defects um, it but it it's okay you know it um, I'm, I'm pleased with it I guess there's Dinah and the struts were they were actually much longer struts uh, they were an eBay find too it's really funny these scaled out um, if I can get around here and show you this rear one. Yeah, it's scaled out with the suspension. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Just the right spring tension. I cut the springs down in them and I shortened them. Maybe a little bit long for scale, but hey, I like my retracks. Uh, I'll give up a few ounces for retracks in these models anytime. So, um, windy enough, I believe. I think I've talked enough.